Hey everybody, Cousin Jim. I'm down here in San Diego again. I'm going out of H&M Landing here. And today we are going on the Premier. Here's the boat we're going on. It's not very packed. I think, I think there's only 13, 14 people going on this trip. So it's gonna be wide open all over the deck. But here's some of the people fishing with us today. Are we gonna go out and catch some fish, guys? Yeah, we are. Okay, you guys might remember Marcus from previous videos. P is always down here on the docks. If he can get on a boat, he is going. Right, Marcus? Yeah. Absolutely. So anyways, if you guys like these videos, hit that subscribe button. All right, when you're down here fishing on these uh, sport boats out of San Diego, you got to trust your mates. So right now, I've got Marcus cutting it, cutting off my two ounce jig. Check that baby out right there. That's what we just took off. We caught a whole bunch of bonita on it. And we're gonna put on this SPRO jig. He's got a little uh, curly tail on it. We're gonna tip him with a bunch of shrimp. What knot are you gonna tie on here, Marcus? Uh, San Diego. You're gonna tie a San Diego knot on here. All right, so we're fishing a 20 pound test today. Marcus knows how to tie a San Diego very well. I've actually caught bluefin tuna on his knots, so I trust him. I trust my knots too, but it's always fun to have somebody else do it. So how do you tie this knot, Marcus? Can you explain it? So you put it through here. What the? Is it painted, is it painted over here? Yeah. Poke that guy right through there. Okay, so that jig head was painted through. We just opened it up. So we got 20 pound fluorocarbon. So you go through the eye, go up above. How many wraps do you make here, Marcus? Five. Five wraps. Do six work? Yeah. Does four work? I wouldn't recommend it. You wouldn't recommend four, okay. Then you give it some lubrication. If you don't lubricate these knots, you'll burn your line and it makes them much, much weaker. But if you tie them with a lot of lubrication there, they don't burn, it pulls on tight. It's 20 pound fluorocarbon. We're gonna catch some bottom fish today. We're gonna get sculpin today, Marcus? Yep. We're gonna get uh, calicos? Maybe. Sand bass? Rockfish? And if we threw uh, silver jigs, would we get bonitas? We've been seeing them, but not that. All right, everybody. It is not a full boat today. Check this out. I think we've, this is almost like a private charter. We got 13 people on this boat. These guys are from El Cajon. These guys are not saying where they're from. They're running from the law. Nah. Are you asking about us? Yeah, where are you from? I'm from Utah. The That's Lake good. City. And are you here on vacation then? I sure am. Good. Well, we're going to have a blast today. I hope you have fun today. Like every one of these trips, we pull up here to the bait barge. Look at all the freeloaders laying, laying on the barge. Look at that guy. He looks pretty proud standing there with his chest all out and everything. All right, here they go. Bait into the tank. There's the dolphin we fished a couple of days ago. Just put those videos out. Today we're fishing the Premier. All right, we got Sharon working the rail here. Have you had any bites yet, Sharon? Not one yet. Not one. What do you think you're gonna catch? Well, hopefully nice little halibut. That would be really nice. Yes, yeah, so I've seen it happen. They have all the down here. They do. They do. And I've seen And they hang out between the bait barges because there's lots of bait in the water here. Right. So Got the usual seagulls following along. Right over here is Point Loma. This is the point that's on the uh, west side of San Diego Harbor. That's the harbor behind us with the military base and everything. And there's the skyline of San Diego. There we go. First little sculpin of the day. All right, we got a hook up here in the corner. Let's see what's coming in. A 
Looks like a Bonita. There's more with him. All right, I'm fishing a, probably a two ounce jig head with a uh, curly tail on it. He's yellow to match my line. I got it it's tipped with squid. Just see what happens. When I fished the other day on the dolphin, several of the guys were fishing this type of setup, so I thought I'd give it a try today. All right, we have something coming up over here. It's another bonita. So you walked to the other side of the boat and caught a sheep's head? Yeah. So that's probably the side of the boat that this little ledge is on. Because I have not gotten a bite. He's too small though. Yep, he is too small. There he goes. Swimming to the bottom. Hooked up right next to me here. Young lady's got something coming up from the deep. She had a bigger bend in her pole at first, so it may have let go. And oh, it did. So you're hooked up next to me here? Yep. Good. What you got? Here it comes. It looks like a sculpin. Oh, it's a little red rockfish. She's got one. All right. There it comes. Nice sculpin. She's hooked up right here next to me. Keep, keep turning that handle. You're doing good. Oh, he's coming. We don't know what he is. You never can tell until they come up. All right, we're fishing on the premiere today as that sweatshirt shows you. Oh, very nice. Nice little sand bass. Hooked up next to me again. Sculpin! Go. Got a sculpin. And today I have not had a bite. I'm looking straight into the sun, but this is the third one. Nice. Looks like we got something coming up. Got a little bend in the rod there. Little something something coming. Sharon's got it on. Nice steady retrieve there. Not going to spin anything off. There it is. Sculpin. So check that out. They cut all the spines off to make that fish very safe for handling. Look, and you can even hold it like this. And I, and I may have just had my first bite, but I'm not sure because I wasn't really paying attention. A swing and a miss. You got another one on back there? It looks like it. Yep, there it comes. Another sculpin. Finally had a bite. For sure had a bite. There we go. Finally. Hooked up and on the bottom. That's a good looking rockfish, but go to the other side and we'll have way more sun. Here we go, right here. Oh yeah, look at that fish. Nice. I think she might have another one on. Oh, piece, piece of kelp. Fine. Oh, I lost him. Hooked up next to me. I keep missing. I might have to hand my rod to somebody else to show me how to get hooked up. There he is. Nice. That's a good one. Look at that, he spit an octopus out. There you bait. Thank you. Another one? No, same one. Same one. All right, so David just caught that cabazon, and the cabazon threw this up. It's an octopus. So that is going to be a great bait down there on the bottom. All right, so he's going to put half of that octopus on. I'm getting a bite, so let's see if we can catch this fish. 
There we go. There you go. I got him. Finally. Finally got a bite. Let's see. Let's see what we got going here. Let's see what we got going. There we go. That's a keeper sheep's head. That's what that one is. He's a male. He's turning black up here in the front. He's going to be red in the middle. He's going to be black on the back. He's going to be blackened on the grill, though. That's what's really going to happen with that fish. That's a sheep's head in California. Okay, here we go. I'm getting, I'm getting bit again now. Let's see what happens here. We got David right next door with his octopus on there. I've got cut up sardines. Let's see. There's a bite. There's a bite. Come on. Let's have a real bite. Ooh, missed. The fishing has not been on fire, but it's been fairly consistent. There's a few sculpin coming over the rail. And David next to me caught that cabazon that was a keeper. I've never even seen a cabazon before, so. Looked like a cross between a link cod and a sculpin. All right, well, we just had a tap there. Let's see what happens here. There we go. Got him. All right. So here we come, coming up from the deep. He had a big little fight at the beginning. And now he's just coming up, just smooth and steady. So you don't pull him off. And look at this. We got us a calico bass. Wow. My lucky day. All right. David's hooked up on his octopus bait. I was on a cut bait. He got a sculpin. I got a calico. Look at that fish. Pretty fish. Let's let him go. There he goes. Back down to the bottom. Got something coming in right back over there. There we go. Red rock fish. Oh. It just got hammered. Here we go. There we go. That's a whole taco right there. Oh yeah. Hey man, I could have eaten that for breakfast. There he goes. Looking over Gina's shoulder so we don't know who's in the picture. Don't worry, I won't get you. You ask me not to, I won't. Oh, look at this sculpt and she got a keeper. That is a nice one. Marcus has got one. Like this. All right, we got another fish coming up on the octopus. What have you got this time, David? Sculpin. Oh, we're back here with the bucket list girl, and she didn't get one this time. No, but I have five. I know you're doing really good. Are you having fun? You know it. Would you recommend going fishing on the Premier out of like, San Diego? Like I'm kind of want, kind of want to come next week. This is so fun. Good. Go another sculpin. So because it's got these venomous spines on it, he's going to cut them all off to make this fish safe. After he cuts the spines off like that, he can actually handle a fish. The captain is fishing here. He's got a really nice sculpin. And what bait is he using? What is this thing? Big old jig head. Got some feathers in it, tipped with a little cut bait. I worked on a big sculpin. Captain is hooked up again. He knows what he's doing. So he's fishing his bait right on the bottom. There comes another sculpin. All right, buddy, show me that sculpin. Nice. Notice how he's got a hold of it right by the lower lip. That's the only place you can grab these guys without getting stung and there he goes he'll swim right back down to the bottom the captain is on fire 
I just adjusted my sinker right down to the bottom. There you go. And there we go. So I've been fishing wrong all day long, but it's okay, because here comes a little sculpin now. Everybody's been catching these things. I have not. But now, I got one. Sculpin! Got a bite? Got him! Just had to change my technique a little bit. All I did was I lowered my weight. I mean, I lowered my hook one foot closer to the bottom. And now I'm catching fish on every drop. So check this guy out. And we got Marcus coming to get him. Thank you, Marcus. Ooh, just missed that one. Might have got my bait. Nope, I got bait. And there he is. Okay. Yeah, well, I just was fishing wrong earlier. And so I'll show everybody the change that I made. I had before my weight was on about a 24 inch line and now I got that weight and my bait so my bait will be just sitting just above the bottom and that will work and David is hooked up to his rock again as always you had a fish and it pulled you into that rock Okay, we got another fish coming up here in the back. A couple rods over. Got a little bend to it. Here it comes. Little sculpin. There we go. We got another one coming up. So re-rigging was the thing to do. So if you're out on one of these boats, pay attention to how the people that are catching fish are fishing. There we go. I'm hooked up too. Man, we are going to double up. Check out that beautiful little sculpin. And watch him swim to the bottom. And there's a keeper sculpin coming in. All right, we got another hookup. Right here in the light. Coming up from the bottom. Oh, yeah, there we go. Another sculpin. We are on the sculpin hot spot. 